I'll try and keep this brief, but um, I will say it gives me great pleasure, but perhaps it's a special pleasure today because the speaker who's going to speak is one of our very own, not only in the sense that she teaches in the art school at Nottingham Trent, um, but also that she was a student there, um, probably a, an alarmingly short time ago, in fact. Um, so um, Ellie Harrison uh, is actually a very busy artist indeed, and she's, um, as you will read from the, uh, the notes that accompany the talk, um, interested in cataloguing the day-to-day -day data and details um, of her and others' daily life. Um, I think she's going to be talking about that this morning. I'd like to give a very big NTU welcome to Ellie Harrison. Thank you. Um, the first thing I want to say is that, well, thanks, Rob, for that introduction, but uh, I'm actually really excited about doing this lecture here today, more than I've been about any lecture that I've ever done, and that's because it's here in Broadway, and Broadway is one of my favourite places, not only in Nottingham, but probably in the whole world. <laughs> it's true. So, um, I thought I'd do a bit of history about when I first discovered Broadway, and it was when I was a, a student at NTU, within the first couple of weeks of my first year, in 1998, I discovered this place. Um, the first film that I ever watched here was a double bill of the French film Delicatessen and Akira, which is a manga film. It's a kind of double bill called a Teenage Kicks or something like that. And even when I finished my degree in 2001 and moved back to London for two years, I still used to visit Nottingham on a regular basis and come and watch films here. So, and this is the bit you probably won't believe, when I moved back to Nottingham in 2003, I, I could safely say that Broadway is one of the main reasons that drew me back to this place. And it was in November of that year that I began my role as undercover artist in residence here at Broadway, working as a cinema rusher. So these tickets that you can see up here, which have been going around on a loop, are a record of all the films and events that I've been to here between 1998 and now, outside of my role as undercover artist in residence. Okay, and... <coughs> these 196 films are the ones that I have been fortunate enough to watch um, since I started my role as undercover, role, uh, undercover artist in residence and um, working here as a cinema show. <coughs> Now, the total duration of these films is around about 358 hours and 55 minutes, back to back. And that is the equivalent of nearly 15 days of solid film watching. <coughs> okay, we're not even halfway through yet. But I guess you're probably wondering why on earth I'm telling you all of this, which is fair enough. There's two reasons. The first one is that I'm currently working on a commission for the official launch of the Broadway Digital Arts Programme. Um, and I'm making an animated sketchbook which documents all of the time that I've spent watching films here since I took on my position as undercover artist in residence. And the animated sketchbook will fe feature these clippings plus anecdotes <coughs> Uh, about the films and my official rating of each one. And just yesterday, I found out the good news that the Digital Arts Programme has secured its funding from the Arts Council. So you can expect to see it launching on the 1st of May this year. So keep your eyes open for that. And my film, when it's finished, will be uh, on show down in the cafe bar. Okay. But the second reason, probably the more important reason, while I'm showing you all this information, my old cinema tickets and the likes, is because, as you'll find out over the course of this lecture, 
The majority of the work I've produced over the last six years since I graduated from Nottingham Trent has been inspired by the documentation of events and experiences that occur in my everyday life, <coughs> such as my trips to Broadway. Okay. I think it's looped over now. Yes, it has looped over. I'm going to show my first um, DVD clip now. Steve, if you want, if you want to cue it up, um, I'm just going to introduce it. It's a film called Eat 22, which I actually began making um, while I was still a third year student at Nottingham Trent. And the project documents everything that I ate for the year that I was 22. Okay, so that's 1,640 images, so 1,640 different things that I ate while I was 22. Um, so that averages about four and a half things a day. And alongside taking the photographs, I also kept this extensive log of all the times, dates, locations, the different foods that I ate, and all the different people who took photographs for me. <coughs> 